In this video, I'll show you how to set up from the very beginning your HP OfficeJet Pro 9125E and many other similar models that are looking just like this one. I have simply unboxed this printer and I'm ready to get started. So let's go over here. So I have simply plugged this printer in my wall outlet. It turned on by itself and this is the first screen I'm seeing. So I'll go ahead and select my language from this list. By the way, there's more if you want to go down. I'll select English and press continue. Select your country and region and you'll get this message while the printer is making some noises. They tell you to go on their website to know how to set up this printer. I don't think this is very convenient, so this is why I'm making this video showing you how this is done. So once you get to this message, let me show you how you can load paper, install the ink and then connect your phone to the printer. The first step is to open this drawer. So you're going to stick your finger right over here and pull on this. This drawer will come out completely. You don't have to pull it out the way I did it. You can simply keep it this way, simply so it's easier for you to see. I'll remove it completely. And over here, you're going to see these blue plastic guides. When they're in this position, it's if you want to print on envelopes or smaller paper, like four by six, stuff like that. If you're printing on a letter size paper, eight and a half by 11, you don't need these. So you can push them with your fingers to the extremities. As I said, I'll print on eight by five by 11, which is letter size paper. But if you want to print on legal size, which is eight and a half by 14 inches, you're going to pinch this latch and you're going to pull to extend this drawer. You see? Now it's extended and it can take much longer paper. In my case, I don't want that, so I'll put it back the way it is. And by the way, if you're printing on envelopes or smaller paper, you can also put these stoppers over here. So the paper, you know, stops over here and doesn't slide till the end of the drawer. So take your paper, simply put it in the drawer like this, nothing special really. You're gonna notice that on one side, on this blue guide, there is a, a line. You should never pile up paper above this line. If not, it can get stuck in your printer. Now let me reinsert this in the printer itself. This printer takes the HP 936 series cartridges. I'll put links in the description if you're looking to buy some from Amazon. So you're going to open this top panel. Make sure that the printer is turned on, by the way, because the carriage with all the ink cartridges will be presented to you. Obviously, if it's the first time you insert these cartridges, you won't see any of them being pre-installed inside of the printer. To help us install the cartridges or replace the one that are already there, we need to lift this top lid. So you're gonna stick your thumb over here and we're gonna lift up this top panel. So in the future, if you want to replace your ink cartridges, you simply have to push on the one you want to replace. So let's say I wanna replace this blue one, the cyan. I'll click on it and then I'll pull it out. And you just have to do the same thing with all of them that you wish to replace. Push, it unlocks them, and then you can remove them. To install your ink cartridges, as you see here, they each have their own specific spot. Cyan, magenta, yellow, and black, that is with uh, the letter K. So you just have to take it gonna notice in the front of the ink cartridge there'll be two holes and on the back you should see the HP logo with a surface with a certain texture that looks like this one over here on the side just to confirm this is the black one so it goes in the spot on the right side simply glide it and then with one finger you're going to push it until it clicks in place. You have to push a bit hard at the end so you feel that click. Just like that. Next one is the yellow one. 
gonna take it again you should see the HP logo facing yourself you should read HP and glide it and click it magenta and finally the cyan There we go and simply push bring down the top cover and close the uh, one in the front so right after inserting the ink cartridges you're gonna hear some noises like a pump this is perfectly normal and on the screen over here simply press ok they'll tell you if you wanna they'll ask you if you wanna do an alignment press align an alignment page will be printed. Now it's time to scan it. Open the scan lid. Take the page that just got printed. And it even tells you over here how to place it. You're going to place it facing down with the top part of the page. Okay, with this part towards the left side. And then we need to bring the corner of this paper. So it touches this corner of the scanner like that. Then close the lid and on the screen you're going to press scan and it will align the print heads. You just have to wait, you have a progress bar that will get to 100%. Then press OK. You can click on the question mark on the top right corner once. Go down and select exit. Select exit again, go down, press next. Now it will ask you if you want this printer to update automatically or simply to be notified and update manually. I'll select notify but you can select auto, it does not matter really. Click save, click continue, click OK. And now we are on the main menu of this printer. It works just like a touch screen of your smartphone. I'll show you how to connect an iPhone to your HP OfficeJet Pro 9125E and also how to print and scan and to get the results on your smartphone directly. So let's get started right away. The first step is to connect your printer to your Wi-Fi network. So what we need to press first is the menu button. Then go down until you're gonna see settings. Click on settings. Then select network. Select Wi-Fi, the first option. Make sure Wi-Fi is indeed turned on. And then we need to click on Start beside Wi-Fi Setup Wizard. It will search for all the Wi-Fi networks that are currently around this printer. And yours will appear in this list. Mine is the number one over here, so I'll click on it. And now it's time to type the Wi-Fi password. So simply click on this rectangle. You may have to click multiple times for the screen to register and now use the keyboard. If your password has numbers, click over here. You also have access to some symbols. Press OK. Submit. OK. And now wait. You're gonna get a green check mark with connection successful. And over here, simply press OK. Now let me show you how to connect a smartphone and how to print with it since we have connected your printer to the Wi-Fi. Next step on your iPhone, if you want to print, you do not need to download the HP Smart App. All right, the HP Smart App is only useful if you want to scan and get the results on your phone. And I'll show you this in just one minute. But for now, let's print a document or a photo. So I went ahead and um, opened this PDF file that was on my iPhone. You can also open a picture on the camera roll if you prefer printing that. And on the lower left side, you're going to notice there is this square with an arrow pointing up. Click on it. And you should see print in this list. If you don't see print on the bottom, scroll down and print should be one of the options. Now where it says printer, make sure that you select your HP printer. Here we go. Obviously the iPhone need to be connected on the same Wi-Fi network as uh, your HP printer. Click on it. 
and now select the number of copies do you want in color do you want to print on both sides of the print uh, of the page and the paper size if we go down you also have media and quality click here and you'll have to choose between draft normal or best for I would say most of the things you're gonna print normal is pretty okay but if you're printing pictures or something with a lot of details I always suggest you drag this so you select best this obviously will give you the best results but it will also be printed at a slower pace I'll keep it to normal for now and once you're ready press print again make sure that your printer has some paper in the tray and extend the output tray just like that now let me press print and wait here we go it was quite quick and it looks great you see now let me show you how to scan a document this printer has two different scanners I'll show you how to use both of them and get the result directly on your iPhone so you can share them or you know save them for later usage so as I said before if you want to scan and get the results on your phone you need the HP smart app it looks like this go on the App Store search for HP smart and download the app then open this is the main menu of this app and usually if you didn't add any printers in the past you should see a setup or add printer button right on the top click on it if you don't see it you see on the top right corner is the same thing it's a printer with a plus sign this is how you add printers then select already connected to network the um, option below since the printer is already connected to your Wi-Fi network and from here select your office jet pro 9120e you may see on the side finish setup you don't have to do it okay what they will do if you press here is trying to sell you their subscription service instant ink where you pay a certain amount of dollars every month and they allow you to print for free I mean for free you paying it's not free but they will allow you to print a certain number of pages but you won't have to buy ink anytime soon so this could be something that could be interested but hey uh, I won't click over here since uh, I already know what's all about now another important thing to mention and again I'm not really happy with that is that HP requires you to log in into your HP account if you want to use any of these uh, settings down below so on so to do this you need to go on the lower um, right side over here where you see account click on it and if you don't have an account it takes two minutes it's free to to do it log in into your account and then you'll be able to have access to these uh, options so to scan go down and select printer scan now it's time to insert the paper in the printer let me show you first this scanner this is the normal scan bed scanner there was already something here but let's say I want to scan this page well put it facing down with the top part of your page towards the left side like that then we need to connect the corner the top left corner of your page with the top left corner of the printer so simply glide and both of these should touch close the scan lid and on your phone click over here where you see a4 normal 200 dpi the scanner has a few settings we can change so you can select the page size in my case this is US letter size so I'll click here and then input source you can leave it to automatic this printer is smart enough to know if you have input paper over here or on the scanner on the top that I'll show you just in a few seconds how it works then quality by default it's 200 and just leave it like this for most of the stuff you're gonna scan if you're gonna scan a picture or something with a lot of details select 300 dpi instead and now you have if you want in color or black and white I'll press done and press the scan button all you have to do is to wait if you have selected 200 dpi it usually takes less than uh, 13 seconds to have the results on your phone almost there here we go so scanning is finished but it's not saved yet we're not done so by default they will show you a 
rectangle, a blue rectangle on what it thinks you want to save. I don't know why they do this. Honestly, I'll just press the full button over here and it will, oops, sorry, it will uh, save the whole page, the full page. And most people, this is what they want to do. If you simply want to save a detail, you can drag these circles so it only saves a part of your scan. Then press next. And here we have a few options on the top. So we have add, but add is not really useful in my opinion, since you can input another page on this scanner and um, scan it by pressing add and it you'll have multiple pages over here. But this printer has an automatic document feeder that can scan many pages at the same time. So this is not very useful. Then we have rotate if you want to rotate the result, if you're not happy. So you can press on the page you want to rotate, then rotate over here and you see it changes. I'll press cancel. You have text extract if you want to extract text from your PDF file. So if I want to copy paste this, I can press um, text extract. And you also have scribble in case you want to uh, put some annotation. So if you want to circle stuff, put arrows, you can do it this way. You can also delete this scan if you are not happy with the results simply by pressing the three dots and selecting delete. When time comes to save, you have a few options down below. Print preview will simply print whatever you're seeing on the screen. Then you have share and save. If you click here, you'll be able to give this document a new name. So click over here, you can delete this default name, put your own name. And you have file type where you will be able to select which kind of uh, file type you'd like to save. If it's a text document, simply leave it to basic PDF. But if it's a picture, uh, maybe a painting, JPEG is um, what most people will choose. At the end, press continue. And from here, you'll be able to share it on social media with your contacts on certain apps. You can scroll. And then down below, you have, if you scroll down, more options. So you can even save it on the memory of your iPhone by clicking save to files. Now, let me show you how to scan using the top document feeder. As you see here, it has those two flaps. If you're scanning a normal piece of paper, a letter size, you need to push these like that to the extremities. You can flip this part so that the paper that goes out of the scanner doesn't fall on your table. Let's say I have these two sheets of paper I want to scan. So I'll put them, align them and I'll place them facing up this time with the top part of your page towards the left side. Glide. You're gonna hear a small noise just telling you that it has detected your uh, paper. And then on the app, it's the same thing. Click printer scan. It will detect that you have put paper over here and not over there and press the scan button. As you see now, the HP printer will take each pages one by one and scan them. And at the end, the results will appear the same way on your smartphone. But this time you'll have multiple pages instead of just one. You can scroll left and right to see all the pages that have been scanned. And again, you can save them and um, edit them the same way I showed you previously. So thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, leave a comment, subscribe, like, but also check my Amazon affiliate links down below if you want to get some ink for your printer, some paper, or even a brand new unit. Every time you shop through my Amazon links, I get a very small commission and it helps my channel. Thanks and have a beautiful day.